Hello, I'm Alexander Ghostly, and thank you for clicking on my video. This is a video response for Nemson and his Feed the Beast Resurrection series. You had stated early on that power was an issue for powering your machines. I have a solution for you. Now, a YouTuber by the name of, insert name here, responded to my comment on your latest video suggesting my design, telling me that the autonomous activator in it would be clicking too fast and would not produce power properly with a clockwork engine. You responded to, insert name here, stating that you had tried this early on and it had not worked. Well, good news, Nemson. My design actually does. And uh, I'm very proud of that. So while I show you the various designs, I'm going to place down a leadstone energy cell at each of these. And then we're going to look at it. The Mark I, which is the, the base design that I showed you in my comment, using a thermal expansion Autonomous activator, sorry, thermal expansion, not mine factory reloaded, made by the same team, into a clockwork engine from forestry for Minecraft, into wooden kinesis, and then stone kinesis pipes, and then into a leadstone energy cell. It produces about 128 redstone flux per tick. Now, insert name here, stated that a clockwork engine works best when you hold right click. So I searched if there was a way to make an autonomous activator hold its button press. If you give it a, a long pulse, it'll hold the button down for that amount of time. So thank you for that insert name here. You actually improved this design just by saying that. Um, this is a three by three, four tick delay redstone clock, which increases the amount of power output past the Mark I. In my original tests, I had produced the Mark I and then built the Mark II, and the Mark II overtook the Mark I in power production, even though it had been running for less time. Less than a Mark III, this is more of a battery setup of several autonomous activators and clockwork engines, all feeding into one, producing the most amount of power over the first and second marks. All of the designs are one block tall and can be easily hidden underground so they don't become an eyesore, which I have a representation of over here. Over here, you would place the cells in the slots over the kinesis pipes and they would receive power over time and charge. This would make a charging station and a uh, relatively nice looking one in my opinion, though I did throw this together for the video. The repeaters in the clocks are set to a four tick delay for all three of them, including the one hidden under the ground here. That is the longest delay that I was able to get with a standard clock. However, the longer the delay, the longer it will hold down right click, the longer it will right click the clockwork engine, and the more power it will produce per tick. Which is exactly what you need. So, if you can get a better redstone contraption for producing power, I would like to see it. Uh, it's not a challenge, I'm just stating that I am, 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 I am unable to produce one better than this. I'm not Seth Blink. And this is my second contributation to you, Nemson. I hope you make use of this. Thank you for watching. I've been Alexander Ghostly, signing off.